Hey y'all, it's Cassie, and today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this beautiful blue patchwork sweater I made. It's perfect for the winter, and I'm so excited to wear it out. And for this project, I used size 6 yarn with a size 6 needle. Um, I definitely recommend using size 5 or 4 yarn to make it less stiff. But anyway, I went ahead and chained 14 and then an extra one and then went directly, skipped one and went directly into the next one to do 15 single crochets up to get these nice little rectangles. I have 31 of each color. And then I went ahead and laid them out and I decided to have four x four panels for the sleeves and three x five for the body. And so I just went ahead and started attaching these by sewing them together and making sure they laid flat because these are so bulky um, you really need to sew them so they lay flat and not so there's an actual seam. And so I just attached four in a row for the arms and five in a row for the body. And you're going to need three with the light blue at the end for the body and of course four in the light blue on the end for the sleeves and then again the same with the dark blue on the end just to make it easier to sew them together. And then, once you have those strips finished, you're just going to go ahead and lay them out like so and ensure that you have the right amount. So, as you can see, I alternate so it looks like a checkerboard. And then I'm just going to sew along these seams in the same manner to get these 4x4 four four panels for my sleeves. And as you sew along, I just went ahead and pulled these stray strings to the back and we'll weave them in after. You could also sew them into the seam as you go, but I just prefer to weave them in. So you just go ahead and repeat this with a four of the four rows for your sleeves and three of the five rows for your body. And you wanna make sure that your sleeves have the opposite color at the top because your um, body panel is five across. Anyway, you can attach the body panels by just sewing at the shoulder. I only did two of the squares attached to each other. And then I went ahead and laid it out flat and attached the arm. I skipped four stitches and then I started attaching the first square of the arm and did that till the seams matched. And then I made the next square match the other square on the body panel and then Again, repeated that on the other side so that the last square is four short of the whole square. And once you attach the sleeve, you just need to secure it and then you can start tying your thread to start sewing up the side of the body and along the bottom of the sleeve. And honestly, I don't really think it matters if you use the dark blue or the light blue thread because no one's really gonna see this seam. But when you are attaching the panels, it might be nicer to stay consistent but I honestly thought it looked very cool just deciding on dark blue or light blue depending on how I felt. <laughs> but anyway, after I fully attached the sweater together, I started crocheting along the bottom. The first stitch I did was just a single crochet into each hole and then I started reducing. So for every two there was one stitch and then I did a single crochet again just to get this nice little band of dark blue along the bottom. Okay, and then I went ahead and went to the neckline and I repeated the same process. I did a single crochet and then reduced and then another single crochet. I really recommend starting the crochet and poking your needle from the outside to the inside because I think it makes it look a lot nicer, at least in my opinion. And of course, as you can see, a great time to watch TV or YouTube videos as you crochet. Next, I went onto the sleeves and since I was running short on yarn, I decided that I just do a single crochet into each of the holes just to give it the same kind of style and aesthetic as the neckline and the waist. So after I did that, I just repeated this on the next sleeve and oh my gosh, I was so excited. This took me a while because of finals, but I'm so excited that it is finally done. Oh my gosh, look at that, ignore these stray strings. I'm gonna leave them to be gone. But yeah, here it is. I'm so proud. And it's a little stiff because I used the wrong combo of yarn and my needle. But oh my gosh, look at this pattern. 
I'm literally so proud. Ignore my dirty mirror, but. <laughs> anyway, now here is me, I guess, modeling it in my backyard. Um, I am so proud of how it looks. It is a little stiff, which I think you can see as I spin it around, but I think it looks really good and it's super warm for these obviously freezing California winters. But yeah, I hope my tutorial, I guess it was kind of a tutorial, was helpful. And I totally encourage you to learn and take up crocheting, especially while we're at home over the winter break. But yeah, I'm so proud and anyway, bye. <laughs>